Hey guys, it's Bobby Joe. I am trying not to be super loud or anything like that. I don't know. It makes me feel weird to do videos when people are home, but I'm getting ready to do my progesterone and oil shot. This is what the vial looks like. Those nails need to be cleaned. I look bad. I'm stressed out today. Um, I had some, I had my egg retrieval, and that wasn't bad. Like, the pain from that wasn't bad at all, but I, like, overstimulated a little bit, and that was rough. Sorry if you can hear the TV I have it on. Um, the overstimulation was way worse than the egg retrieval pain. It was, like, all the way, oh, not here, but, you know, like, right in my ribs. Like, it was just, like, a rock-hard, tight-feeling pain, like somebody just beat me, and it was awful, but, um, I've been drinking plenty, um, honestly, the thing that I think helped was time, and then also I got some of those really cheap teriyaki noodles that are high in sodium and salt, and I, and I ate that one night, and, um, also been doing the Gatorade. He was distracting me. Took a drink because I'm. I'm so stressed out, you guys. I know I keep saying that. I can feel myself getting weird. Um. Um. I don't know. It's hard. My dog's about to jump on the bed, and I think it's gonna move the laptop. Anyways, I don't want to make this super long. Tomorrow is transfer. It'll be day five. Um, I haven't heard anything since the day after egg retrieval. And after egg retrieval, I had, um, I got seven eggs and then, um, six fertilized. Lay down, Karma. Uh, six fertilized. And I haven't heard anything since then. So I won't hear anything or know anything until tomorrow. I go in really early at 6.45, so I go leave my house about for 30 in the morning or so. They said I could eat breakfast. Um, I'm going to have half of my Avadryl shot when I get there. I'm going to ask them why they do that. I still don't know. And then I'll take a Valium and a full bladder. And then I guess we'll do the transfer after that. Um, so, anyways, let me show you something. My pharmacy gave me these needles. And they're awful. Um, another friend had these needles, and she gave them to me because the syringe is so much better. I keep breaking these. Like, look at this. It's awful. Like this, if you, when you change your needle, because you have to change the needle, um, if you push too hard, it, it's just, it's broke. And if I was sticking that in me, or if my mom was sticking, she's been doing these for me, if she was sticking this in me, I would be mad as hell if that did this while she was giving me the injection. I mean, <laughs> ooh, pain. I'm in, I'm still in some pain. Um, I've been taking Vicodin, so that helps. I've been sleeping a lot, that helps. So, um, yeah, so I'm using these. So, I just open them up. I'm so nervous about tomorrow. Open them up, and it comes with a 22 um, gauge needle. Then I, um, then they gave me the 18 gauge to change it to, um, just to take the medication out. There's no way I could give myself this. Not, it, it would never happen. So then you take your wipe, and you wipe off the top of this here. So I'm going to um, prepare that real quick. So you just wipe it off because you, this is a 50, um, um, this is 500 milligram slash 10 milligram, 50 milligrams. So I um, give myself one milligram a night. Well, I don't give it to myself. My mom gives it to me. And I'm not a fan. I'm really not a fan. Uh, no, thank you. I don't love this, so you just take off this 22, twist off, and then you put on the 18. So then we just put this on here. Much smaller. 
and then there's your needle. Looks like hollow, right? I don't like it. So we've clean we have cleaned the top of this. So in some videos I say pull some air and then put it in and then push the air in. Not sure why. Then turn it upside down. And then we're gonna pull it to one. I always pull way too much and then put it back in. Okay, so one Okay. Pull it down, pull it up, and we have one. Now I put my cap back on the needle, take it off, just bows, and put the 22 back on, because this is what you're going to be injecting yourself with, with, is the 22. I always, usually once I take it out, I bring it down a little bit more so I don't get it, lose any of that oil. That progesterone and oil. And there you go. And then I'm going to call my mom in here to give it to me. <coughs> Sorry. I have to like hold my whole body to be able to cough. But I'm not going to do this one on camera because I don't want to... I'm not like uh, always super brave about it. And I kind of have to zone out because I'm so sore. This is like day four or five. And I kind of have to zone out to be able to do it because I'm... I'm sore and I don't like it, and uh, so I'm not going to do this one on camera. But I just want to get on really quick and let everyone know that tomorrow is my transfer, and um, I'll let you know what goes then. I guess after that, it's out of my control. I'm freaking out. Um, I'm freaking out that I've done everything I can do, and literally, I just, I just have to let go. I have to let go because I have done everything I can do. So, anyways. Wish me luck, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya.